Have you heard about vegan PDRN serums? They're all over social media right now with promise after promise about skin repair and anti-aging, just like with original PDRN, but vegan PDRN products are made with pretty sounding things like roses and green tea instead of salmon sperm. So if you've been wondering whether these serums are worth your money, I'm breaking it down for you today. If we haven't met, I'm Dr. Sarah Shu, a board-certified dermatologist in the United States. But first, a quick recap on PDRN. It's one of the hottest trends in skincare coming out of South Korea. Like a lot of trendy skincare products, PDRN skincare piggybacked on the popularity of an in-office procedure called Regeron injections. These injections, called skin-boosting procedures or baby skin injections, involve being injected repeatedly in your face with chopped up pieces of salmon sperm DNA. Yes, DNA from salmon sperm being injected over and over into your face. But the downsides of these injections? They're expensive, they involve a lot of needle pokes, they're not available in all countries, and apparently it's a super painful procedure. One Reddit poster said that they had tears streaming down their face during the treatment, which sounds really terrible. So of course people are going to want at-home products for a fraction of the price and none of the pain. For all the people who are excited about salmon sperm DNA, there's going to be plenty of people who are grossed out by the idea of salmon sperm-based products. Doesn't PDRN coming from roses or lotus leaf just sound prettier to you? But when I look at the evidence, most of the published evidence is based on the in-office injections of DNA fragments that come specifically from chum salmon and rainbow trout sperm, not from topically applying these to your skin. And most of these studies were on wound healing, not anti-aging. Aging is not a wound. Very few of the published studies included a plant PDRN source, and the few that were based on plant PDRN, for example, this study on PDRN from the tropical plant Hibiscus sabdarifa, were in vitro studies, meaning in a lab on skin cells or skin models, not living human skin, ideally on living humans. So many things in skincare, dermatology, and medicine in general look promising initially in a lab environment on cells and end up being total duds in actual living beings. And that's why it's difficult at this point to come out and say that yes, for sure, topical PDRN, whether from salmon sperm or a vegan source, has anti-aging activity based on the information that's out there right now. Next, let's talk about the theoretical differences between the original source, salmon sperm, and these pretty sounding vegan alternatives. The theory behind how PDRN works is that it acts through the adenosine A2A receptor, and activation of this receptor kicks off a series of signals within the cell. Think of it kind of like flipping a switch on that tells the cell to start doing things like repairing tissue or reducing inflammation. DNA from any source, whether it's salmon sperm or a vegan source like roses, is made from the same building blocks. Each species may have a different mixture of building blocks, but ultimately the building blocks are the same. So theoretically, if it's actually the DNA building blocks that are having anti-inflammatory and regenerative effects rather than other contaminants in fish sperm, then vegan sources can have the same effect. That said, I still think a lot of the claims around topical PDRN are extreme. Right now, there's still no strong peer-reviewed evidence showing that PDRN from fish or vegan sources applied to intact, living human skin has anti-aging effects. That kind of data might come out in the future, but as of now, it's still not there. And I'm not talking about anecdotal evidence, like my mom's friend's cousin used it and all her wrinkles disappeared, or about glossy before and after photos from a brand's marketing team. That's not the kind of evidence that you or I should really be convinced by. There are still a ton of unknowns at the moment. For example, sperm cells, like the salmon sperm used in many PDRN products, they are naturally packed with DNA. That likely makes them easier to extract from compared to something like roses. For topical use, we don't know what the ideal DNA fragment size or concentration should be, and I couldn't find any info on whether applying DNA fragments is more effective than applying topical adenosine or topical RNA. Since PDRN supposedly works through the adenosine A2A receptor, and RNA is more effectively broken down to adenosine than DNA is. So while the theories might be promising, there is still a lot to figure out before we can draw any strong conclusions. I have tried a bunch of PDRN skincare products and ignoring price, Iope's PDRN Caffeine Shot, which is the first PDRN product I tried and reviewed, is still my favorite. 
Again, I'm not sure that it's accomplishing any of the magical claims that the skincare companies are making. It just gives me a nice glow. I still look my age after six months of using it, and that is expected and normal. I look my age, but maybe a little bit more well rested. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have a PDRN product that you like. Ones that I've tried so far are the Iope product I mentioned, Metacube's PDRN Serum and Gel, and Genimel's PDRN Cream. One of my commenters had mentioned that I should check out Derma Factory's PDRN, and that's next on my list. If you like content like this, consider checking out my sunscreen reviews. Thanks for watching.